Hey yo, what's up everybody, welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Lungo and we are Fanny and Jesse. Jesse. Guys, I want to say thank you for, you know, just subscribing to our channel. You guys are super amazing. Thank you so much. If you have more uh, reactions that you want us to do, just let us know in the comment section below. Also, if you're new to this channel, we're Fanny and Jesse. We do all kind of reaction videos. Just let us know what kind of reaction videos you want us to do. We're going to do it for you and I know that um, you'll be happy with our reaction and also you will have to I mean one way or the other you will learn one or two things from what we are we're reacting to and also just our own opinion you understand because everybody has their own opinion you shouldn't judge anybody and uh, I mean I shouldn't judge anyone of how he or she thinks and yeah so if someone doesn't agree with you just respect if someone doesn't agree with you or with if what someone they say agrees on the videos, yes so or yeah, exactly you have to be direct because it sounds like you're reacting you know yes i mean if someone i mean if we don't agree on what is here on the video you shouldn't take it so personal because this is just our own opinion so you really need to understand that aspect of we're just here to uh, learn educate each other entertain each other and also try to move exchange. to the next level exchange ideas and whatnot information exactly so yeah information is free out there so it's just for us to consume it and how we consume it and how we want to uh, perceive it also and everybody perceives things in a different way so without any further ado so today this one is a different one totally different and i want to thank the person who actually suggested this one because um we are going to react to what if the sun explode, exploded tomorrow, you know, everybody knows the sun, the sun has always been there since inception of earth, I mean, that's, that's really crazy, just to think about it, you know, it has never failed you, every morning when you wake up, it actually probably wakes before you, or you wake up before it, and, and you see it. The, the sun never fails us, but imagine one day the sun decides to explode, what are you going to do? So You said it's been here since inception. Yeah. inception. So before the Big Bang? Uh, I really don't know if the Big Bang really happened. I don't know if... To be honest, I'm in a state where um, I don't know to like what really happened exactly. But I'm thinking that whatever happened, the sun was the first thing to be created because the light was the first thing according to the bible I, I don't and also think the quran the light i mean the light first and then once you see that's when you can start putting things into place because when you're in the dark you can't be able to put this into a position where you want it to be there so i feel like the sun was the first thing and i mean we should just pay homage to the sun sometimes it's really good so anyway without any further ado guys let's get to the reaction This is what if, and here's what would happen if the sun exploded tomorrow. That star at the center of our solar system, that super hot ball of plasma that gives us heat and energy, and amazing complexions. Ah, you <laughs> well, it's a ticking time bomb. The sun is about 10 billion years old, but it's only expected to last about another 5 billion years. After that, the sun will expand, becoming a red giant. Then, it will shrink to become a white dwarf, a dying star cooling for the next several billion years. Of course, we'll all be long gone before any of that happens, but still, can you imagine what it would be like to watch the sun blow up before your very eyes? With a name like supernova, you'd think that a solar explosion would be the most magnificent fireworks show the world has ever seen. But in reality, you likely wouldn't see anything. The sun is 150 million kilometers away from Earth. And it takes eight minutes for light from the sun to reach us. And while that may seem super far away, in supernova terms, we don't stand a chance. For Earth to be completely safe from a supernova, we'd need to be at least 50 to 100 light years away. 
But the good news is that if the sun were to explode tomorrow, the resulting shockwave wouldn't be strong enough to destroy the whole Earth. Only the side facing the sun would boil away instantly. The lucky other half would experience a rise in temperature that would be 15 times hotter than the sun's current surface temperature and permanent darkness. And without the sun's mass keeping us in orbit, Earth would likely start floating off into space while its remaining inhabitants desperately struggle to stay alive. There is a chance that our planet could lock into orbit around another star that might provide the same light and heat as our sun, but by the time that happened, we'd all be long gone. If we knew in advance the day that the sun would explode, then we could buy ourselves as many as 1,000 years of time, provided we had the resources to sustain ourselves for that long. And we could. Just a few meters below the ground you walk on, the Earth is maintaining a temperature of about 17 degrees. So if we had enough time to prepare, civilization could continue to live by moving underground into a huge network of fortified bunkers. Within a week after the explosion, the surface temperature on Earth would drop to minus 18 degrees. Within a year, temperatures would plummet to about minus 73 degrees. At this point, the oceans would begin to freeze from the top down. Within 1,000 years, Earth's atmosphere would freeze and collapse, leaving anything left on the surface exposed to cosmic radiation and meteor impacts. Hopefully, by that point, we'd have found ourselves a new home. The good news is that if the sun were to explode, and it will eventually happen, it wouldn't happen overnight. When the sun does die, it will be a long, slow, arduous process taking place over billions of years. The sun will get hotter and brighter, and it will start to expand. During this process, it will lose its outer layers to the cosmos, leading to the creation of other stars and planets, in the same way that the violent burst of the Big Bang created Earth. Who knows, maybe new life could form. Can you imagine another Earth? A new humanoid species? It's hard to predict how our galaxy might look billions of years from now, and it's especially hard to imagine our solar system without the great golden anchor that keeps us all together. But one day, in the very, very distant future, the sun will expand, and then it will shrink, maybe leaving room for a new star to take its place. And if by some miracle humanity still exists at that point, where might we be living? Can you imagine your descendants being born on a space station? Well, that's a story for another What If. What do, you think, what do you think about the thing to watch? Just thinking. So the sun is something I wanted to ask you. It's just gone. Oh yeah, what I wanted to ask is so at what point so it's is it also going to take a billion years for it to expand? Is that what he said? Most likely. Before it does. shrinks. <clears throat> so what happens to humans when it expands? Doesn't it mean it gets hotter? Yes, that's why I say like uh, the, 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 the sun has like, I don't know, 15 billion years and it's remaining only 5 billion. So I don't know uh, at what here we are in now. Maybe we're in, maybe it's remaining like 7 years, I don't know. But yeah. <clears throat> because of what uh, we're experiencing now, it's, it's getting hotter and hotter and hotter. That means eventually the sun is going to, yeah, the sun is going to explode and I mean this one bring brings it down to the, to the solar flares. I mean if is it explodes it? everyone is gonna die. But now no, he says, he says no, it's like, it will be long gone by then. Is it us that are living now? But there'll be people then? <clears throat> yes, I mean I mean we can't live a uh, thousand years or even hundred years today. The lifespan of humans is uh, close to sixty, seventy, eighty. You understand? So by the time that happens will have been long gone. Even our children, 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 maybe wouldn't have experienced that. But now, 
since we don't even know how old the sun is as we speak right now this is just speculations i don't know if the scientists have the correct number but according to what we're experiencing now i mean it's getting so hot to a point that we feel like the sun is going to explode or maybe the sun is just closer to us maybe it's expanding you see so now the thing is i mean if this if, if the sun explodes uh like the way he uh what do you call that he showed the graphics right there the uh i mean now we're experiencing the sun yeah the other part of the world they're experiencing darkness so we we the ones who are experiencing the sun we're gonna like die you understand so, so that is yes the ones who are not experiencing the sun maybe they're in the uh, dark side maybe uh, at night they'll just have the temperature rising so at that point maybe those are those ones are going to be the survivors I who mean, are going to i really really want to get your point and i have to ask questions because i know mm -hmm. you are really really into such things so i'm sorry to mm -hmm. cut you off okay. well, another thing i wanted to say is, so if the sun he, he spoke about the other people would have like a week you understand mm -hmm. a week to get before it gets cold or what or yes. something like I mean, that yes I, I don't it's gonna know, like there's things. gonna be a time frame because now if the sun explodes he said it's gonna take time for for the temperatures to go down yeah let's say days to go down once it goes down then there's no more i mean the sun shrinks and becomes like little whatever dwarfs and stars and whatnot to understand that means there's no sun what are dwarfs? it's just little whatever dwarfs are little humans but now it's Storms? A yeah. so now when it gets to that i guess there's there's not going to be and it, uh, I don't know if there's going to be electricity, but the mm -hmm. thing is, <coughs> yeah. So now that's when the winter comes in, or uh, the, uh, the 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 weather, the the temperature drops completely. So we're going to experience a lot of cold. So how we survive from there, all the way until the sun comes back again. But it's going to take long. Another question. Yes. So that's why I say humans might have find another way another place to live in maybe yeah, in space that's, that's what i want to ask you but before he mentioned space he also spoke about underground bunkers yes the temperature there is what 70. yeah but now he so said why that are we not doing that now <coughs> people are doing that already doing that yeah people are doing that there are people who are already know listen individuals or governments that are uh, actually saying let's go down there now, if you talk about governments, you have to actually make it clear what type of, you know, there's a shadow government, there's the government we see, and then there's, I don't know what, the people who run the world. Now, this is what I'm thinking, the people who control, control the world, the people who are uh, the shadow governments, they understand probably what the, the world is. So for them, they understand what's going to happen and probably the specific day. Uh, that's how I'm thinking. So now them they're already preparing themselves have you heard of people already having bunkers in the in, the, in case of anything that happens they, they already know that this is where they're going to go to and maybe what this elite the elites and then people in the government who are of high standards most of them they will go underground bankers some will even fly in space to understand to stay there until some will freeze themselves you know all these kind of things we've been seeing in the movies actually some of these things are actually so subliminal like messages. Like the hundreds. Yes, like the hundreds, if you watch the hundreds. I mean, there's so many movies that actually depict what we've just seen right now, but we actually don't see it as a reality. But trust me, one day it will come and it will shock everybody. I'm thinking that we that we don't have that kind of information, we we might find ourselves in a in a fix where where to run to. You understand? But again, you, you will be caught unaware. That's why you have to consume knowledge to a point that you know the next move or you know what is really happening around the world. There are so many distractions out there that actually distract distracts people to a point that they don't even understand or know what is happening around. But even if you have this information here, yeah, mm -hmm. how do you protect yourself if you don't have access to the bunkers? You can pro boom, the sun explodes. I feel you can protect yourself. It's just you, you, you just have to buy a land. I mean, okay, if you have the I mean, resources. If yeah, if you don't have resources, then man, it's gonna be tough. 
or unless you're a scientist somewhere where or maybe you're a creative somewhere where you know where to hide or maybe if you can cover yourself with a something that can stop the radiation from hitting you. Is that anything? You know? I that think can that protect you like for a couple of years. Yeah. No against radiation. Not really a couple couple of years. I mean when that thing hits, you understand. Yeah, because when it explodes, everyone will be like everything has just gone to ground zero. Do you understand? Yes. So So um, I don't know, it's it's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough. That's why imagine if you knew like tomorrow the whole end. Yes, or, or the, the solar, solar thing, yeah. You want to talk you think, about, about the solar flares? Yeah, films, but, but, but let, me, let, let, me, let, let me talk about this. Imagine you knew that in, in two weeks the, the solar flare or maybe the, uh, the sun is going to explode. The first thing in your mind is to figure out how to protect yourself. Trust me, a lot of people will have already dug. Even, even if it's a small hole somewhere, just dig sit in there with your how many i don't know uh, entire family. With your entire family with little food to eat just survive you understand you'll have already practiced on how to survive prepping yourself but imagine you don't know anything if this thing happens tomorrow you're gone you're finished so this is what we call even the bible people will perish due to lack of knowledge you understand so most of the people don't have that kind of knowledge all they want to do is just consume content that are just garbage on the internet. You want to go watch those movies, watch all those things. Mm, when there's... But then we just sat here and we actually spoke of like the hundred, do you understand? Okay. There's information in this, so it's not completely garbage or just completely entertaining. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about other people out there, you understand? No, society... no, I was going to agree with you. Yeah. What I want to say is, quite right, there's people that are going to say, okay, this is information that we're being given and mm -hmm. others is just going to be completely, ah, uh, that movie was work or that series was work is what I wanted to say yeah I mean just um, knowledge is power once you understand these things you might find yourself prepping yourself even earlier than being caught up by these things um, I, feel, I feel like most of the people are ignorant they think that ah you know or most of the people maybe are they're like whatever happens happens you know at the end of the day we all are gonna we all gonna die but the thing is I wanted to talk about the solar flares. Wait, can I just add? Yeah. I, I don't think it's ignorance. It's just some people don't want to learn. Yeah. People don't the want to change. Process, they don't so want to learn. Talk about the solar flares. Uh, true. The learning process. People really fear that learning process. They feel like it's <clears> time consuming. No, they don't want to learn because sometimes they lose interest. Yeah. Or time consuming as that well. That is time consuming because why would sometimes I learn you have something so much bring... work. No, the thing is, um, a typical man or woman who is a capitalist, why would I sit down and listen to something that's not going to give me food on the table? Do you understand? I have kids, I have a house to pay, I have rent to pay, I have all these kind of things. Will it give me rent? No. So let me go out there, work my ass off to pay rent. So it's totally garbage for him or her. He would rather not listen to those things than going out there thinking about how to make money. That's why today, if you ta if you look at the algorithm of how to make money, it's, they have billions of uh, research. I mean, or maybe people who are looking into that. You never, yeah, you never find someone say uh, how to survive an explosion if the sun explodes. There's nothing. I mean, yes, you'll find maybe those people who are really uh, curious have enough, they geek enough. Yes. You have. I Google these things. How to survive. A solar flare. Sun. How to survive? Wait, first explain the solar flares before yes. you forget. So now, uh, I mean, we live in a very dangerous times, as you, as you can see now, the different things are happening around. So, and uh, there've been like a lot of uh, news about solar flares or what's gonna happen to the earth and all this kind of stuff. Even in the movies, you can see all these things. But we have, we are, we are getting to a point that we are actually seeing this thing happen in reality. Right now, as we speak, in the UK, next week, the temperatures are going to rise to, let's say, 38 to 40 degrees Celsius. And this has never been seen in the UK history since the inception of or the birth of <coughs> the UK or something. You understand? It has never been seen. So imagine what's going to happen to them. And even, even, even uh, 
they they were now telling people like hey you know what uh if you know that you're working at this time of the whatever you have to stop working even the kids are telling them not to go to school they should be indoors so that you can protect yourself from the radiation sun. yes the sun the, the, uh, the, the sun and i'm thinking that's the solar flare because actually they don't want to tell the people the truth of course the government wouldn't, wouldn't be able to be in a position to tell you the truth because they always hide things from from us so now that's the uk again in the united states they're, they're warning people of a um a nuclear radiation so where is this nuclear radiation coming from they are saying in case of nuclear radiation there's a science in case of nuclear radiation get inside get inside yeah get, get inside the uh, lights like your outside get inside you understand your house yes oh, okay. so uh, why all of a sudden all this you know warnings and in the uk they are talking about all these kind of things nothing in africa of course africans <laughs> of course in africa you know it, it comes later it comes after when it's happening yeah before the news when when it's it's actually happening that's when the africans are being told hey i mean the same thing that is happening uh, you saw what happened in the in the in, the, in ukraine ukraine yeah? i mean the, the people who are lifted out quickly were the people who are maybe the european citizens and what africans responded later oh. they reacted i mean it's, it's more like a reaction you know no. So, they just put their people ahead of everyone, but then yeah, so is so, the humanity in that though. So you see, so now the solar flares are gonna hit like severely, but what you need to do is just uh, understand how to protect yourself from the solar flares. I mean, there is a lot of uh, things out there to read. There's a lot of, you know, and of course a lot of blackouts are gonna come in. Prepare yourself. Prep yourself. Uh, in, in case of when there's no electricity, oh, what okay. is it? Yes, what is it that you can do? So this is a time you can invest in solar panels. You can invest on uh, maybe uh, things perishable goods that don't go bad because if you have get vegetables, of course they're gonna perish quickly. So you have to get grains, put it into into uh, okay. places, cans, yes, cans, and all those kind of stuff. Very, 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 very important. And um, yeah. That's what I wanted to talk about the solar flares, and I feel like it's it's on the brink of happening. Uh, last question. Uh, this thing that you said about the UK, not the States, not the US, about the UK saying they're going to experience maybe the hottest summer. What yeah. about Cyprus? Because first, yeah. they experienced the coldest winter yet. Yes. So what about summer? What you people seems, don't understand sorry, is that, sorry. yeah. Because it seems like worldwide, everywhere you go, yeah. they're experiencing the yeah. worst of everything they've ever experienced. Be it summer, be it winter. Actually, the, uh, there was a shift. I mean, there was a shift of, of uh, I mean, if uh, for lack of a better word, I can say maybe shift of weather or something. The, the people who are experiencing the coldest uh, temperatures, they are experiencing the coldest. I mean, there was a shift, which is people are feeling the shift now because even here it's funny that winter, uh, winter comes in late. When he came to this country, winter was coming in very early. You understand, and you could experience it and whatnot. But now it comes in so late. That means that the sun is actually taking cover, like it's just right there on the face, and. Um, what do you call this? The what? What, what was the question? Because like in fi they experienced the coldest winter in like is it forty fifty years? I've forgotten what the article said. Here oh. in Cyprus. Yes, yes, yes. So now, so yeah, that's that's why, because of the shift. Like when we have winter here, it's the worst. When we get summer, it's the hottest. Yeah. Africa, they feel the same as well. Just so like, you get the both of best worlds. <laughs> like, you get the hottest and you get the coldest. This is because um once um the, the sun is closed i don't know how to explain this there's a way there these people know how to explain this uh I, I believe like the earth is a plane i don't i don't believe uh not not even believe i think i know sort of because i, I don't know I, I, anyway so <laughs> now yeah so now when when when, when the sun rotates like that that there are rings so the reason I saw you experiencing hot weather or cold weather is because those rings, the sun tends to be closer to you.
and when it goes further you experience win uh, winter yeah. you understand so now it's like uh, in winter it becomes more colder and then during summer it becomes more hotter I think as day goes the magnetic field of the earth kind of Shit. Changes. It changes and maybe reduces or something at some point maybe it's not that strong so when it's not strong I think I think maybe we experience this kind of shifts and cold weathers and we understand and all those kind of stuff. So that's what normally happens I don't know if I'm true about this, but I feel like I'm kind of close to the truth. But I don't know. Truth. Yeah. What so, yeah. So now, that's the reason as why we're experiencing all these cold, crazy weathers. Even, uh, but again, guys, you have to understand that the government are using a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, um, the yeah, artificial control. generated uh, weather machines like how like you know i mean they can they can literally say we want storm over here and then they can form a storm a rain in Dubai. yes they can generate weather so they can generate clouds and whatnot i mean of course they, they do this thing to cool down the earth because the earth is getting hotter and hotter and hotter so i don't know you guys should just prepare yourself and uh, know what to do uh, don't consume so much of content that doesn't help you i mean consume more of the knowledge so that when these things so that even your intuition can tell you this thing is closer if you have a little money with you you can even in uh, there's a in, uh, in the u.s there is a land full of bankers and it's for rental for no 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 like people are buying i mean this is for sale so you wonder why are those houses there why why, like why are everyone they everyone is aware not everyone it's not but hidden knowledge it's not hidden knowledge everyone is aware but because of the ignorance people thinking like nah this is just but so i don't know so selling those the government no to anyone if you want to buy you can you can buy it yeah i know you can buy but i'm saying who's selling them i think that the person who owns it's just it. a person who just yes. believes in these things and has i mean he believes that things. uh of course something's gonna happen mm. yes just like what we we we, we watched here i mean it's just the same thing because um again every seven thousand years something has to happen to the earth like there's a great reset you know so you understand so this is what is going to happen to uh, and probably this is what we're experiencing and that's why we are seeing all these things that are happening now with the um the weather the way the weather is reacting the economy the inflation it's going up and you know all these things is because of the, of the great reset and i believe that the government know exactly what what they are doing and they want more control so they are taking advantage of the situation also that's it yeah um if you want to listen to him talk about such things more please comment down below what you want us to react to next there's other things other than these funny videos whatever the case is just feel free to suggest down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and we'll see you in our next reaction video deuces Help me.